folks, welcome to WTW Science, and uh, this is Dr. G with very enthusiastic grade 8 learners from Marina Park Secondary, and today we want to introduce the concept of a fire tornado, and we're going to use some old school equipment over here, and if you want to come in slightly closer onto this, we have a turntable, and some of you may not know what a turntable is, okay, these were in the old days where we were spinning vinyl, and it's now made a comeback. Need an old uh, waste paper basket. Just gonna place that on top over there. A little bit of fuel, just an old cloth like this. A bit of ethanol, just to act as a fuel. This is very good. You have to be very, very careful when you're actually handling any flame and make sure you have a fire extinguisher, which is not very far away from us right now. And uh, be very, very cautious uh, when lighting anything. All right, so just gonna place that over there. It's going to light that up to produce a nice uh, flame, a flame like that, and then we're going to get this turntable to, to actually now start to rotate, and as we step back, and as we watch it, and it's such an incredible move these guys are making, if you have a look at the flame, we've got a very special cameraman to sacrifice his part in the video just to record this event, and you'll notice that the flame has got a nice twisty type movement bright orange flame, okay, that depends on the frequency at which uh, this flame is actually sourced. And then, uh, yeah, so if we had put in a bit more uh, methanol in there with a quicker rotation, you'd have a nice uh, tornado going out. You can actually change the color of the flame by adding in various chemicals. And it's interesting, when you look at forest fires, you know, you could be tens of kilometers away and before you know it you'd be surrounded by fire and it's really nothing more than all these trees just like the dustbin acting as a as some sort of mirror and getting these things to flux through and before you know it you'll be surrounded by flames so the best thing to do is not to observe or to get that special video for YouTube or Facebook or any social media but to get away as far as possible what do you think guys Thank you. Thank you. All right, excellent. Thank you so much.